Dr. Sutton, again in for Dr. Ashton uh, this week and reporting to us from Boston today. And Dr. Sutton, uh, uh, anybody who's been watching the news, there's been a lot of talk about mental health, uh, mental illness over the past couple of days as it relates to what happened in Texas. And look, that debate is going to go on and go back and forth with people looking at that differently and how uh, many are assigning that mental health crisis is the issue we are having with uh, these shootings. But aside from that, we do know that, yes, mental health, mental illness is something serious we do need to keep an eye on. And you've got some info for us now having to do with um, uh, keeping an eye on kids when it comes to their mental health. Yep. Today, agencies across the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services have issued a joint letter to states encouraging them to prioritize and maximize their efforts for children's mental health and well-being. We talked about this before, TJ, but the number of children between the ages of 3 and 17 diagnosed with anxiety and depression have increased by 29 and 27 percent, respectively, between the years of 2016 and 2020. Also, there was a 21 percent increase in children diagnosed with behavioral and conduct disorders between 2019 and 2020. The hope TJ is that this funding can go to places such as the Substance and Mental Health Services, as well as the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services through the Child Health Insurance Program. And, and help folks here when we hear, and we know the, the, the pandemic certainly took a toll on uh, our collective mental health, but you mentioned anxiety there, right? It, 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 explain what we're talking about there and how that also is important when we talk mental health. I think really at the end of it, when you look at these numbers, uh, first off, a lot of these increases that we've been seeing have come before the pandemic. So there was a problem mm. brewing, but I think it might have been exacerbated by the triggering events that we have seen in the past year. Many children are having difficulty dealing with anxiety, and it's really important to look for help. All right, Dr. Sutton, we appreciate you as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.